Friday. Would you uh, play the audience right in the left? Okay. A lot of head and shoulders. When you got speed, you ready? All right. The great man Louis Armstrong, that's who we're dedicating our show to this evening. Did you know him and what wonderful stories do you have about him? Well, I had the pleasure of meeting him once, and that was in Las Vegas many years ago in the 60s, I imagine. And uh, he was quite a man. Um, money meant nothing to him. All he wanted to do was just play his horn and play music. So he was a just fantastic guy. So uh, I knew his wife also, Lucille Armstrong. I got to know her uh, after his demise. And uh, I used to wear my hair differently. I wore bangs, you know, the Claudette Colbert thing. And she saw me one day and she says, pull your hair back, she says, and show your face. So I've been wearing it like that ever since. You know, but uh, we also did a tribute to Louis Armstrong uh, at Carnegie Hall. Uh, George Weins uh, produced it, and uh, some of the same personnel was on the show with me. Doc Chatham, who is 80, 85 now, uh, Ruby Braff, uh, Dick Hyman was on piano, uh, Ernie Royal, uh, Jimmy Maxwell, uh, all the great, great musicians. Everybody says that uh, Louis Armstrong had a great spiritual thing, with, feeling within himself that everybody around him always felt. Mm -hmm. uh, he was very generous financially, mm -hmm. generous of his emotional self. Yeah. Uh, did you feel that from him when you were around him? When I met him, yes, I did. Did you kind of describe he was that sort of, feeling? He was like down to earth. He was Nothing meant anything to him except his music. That's, that's the feeling that I got from him. Even on the records today, you can feel that inner thing that just comes and jumps out through the record. I'm sure you felt it if you play his record. It's, it's there, you know, that everything he did was just, that emotion was there. You think we'll ever have another Louis Armstrong? No, forget it. Forget it. Never have another one. You have some fine trumpet players, uh, like Wenton. And, uh, He's a young man. I'm so glad that he decided to sort of carry on Pop's music. You know, he's good, but he'll never be a Louis. He and nobody else, I don't think. Tell us a little bit something about the play you're doing in New York. Uh, it's a play called Black and Blue, and uh, we're running, going into our second year. Uh, when we first opened, they said it wouldn't last about a couple of months. But uh, we're still there, and it's a uh, music of uh, Batswala, uh, Andy Razov, uh, many of the great, great uh, writers, and it's a show where you can relate to it, especially the, the older people. And I always say that I wish that the younger people could see it, because the music is so wonderful, and we don't want to let it let it fade out. We want to keep it going. A lot of tap dancing. Uh, it's it's not a, a, a book show. It's a musical review, uh, and it's the, the dancing is wonderful. Well, we hope you have a very happy and long run with the play. And thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. It's so nice to be here with you. It's our pleasure. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.